everybody, welcome back to Rebochomp channel. Today we're gonna cover a little bit about the blade length. Um, it's not so much a discussion about the blade length, but more about what you can do when you have a whole bunch of sabers like myself and basically only like certain lengths. I'm a very big guy of Shoto sized length blades and Shoto blades length is basically what we have here. This is a 20 inch, 28 inch Vader's Fall dual diffuse blade. I love these shorter blades, I use them a lot. But when I go to a con or I go do something outdoors, I want to have a saber that fits in a small bag. Um, I would like to have it very simple, easy and um, durable. Now I live in Hong Kong, so I live in a very small house. I like to do spinning and whatnot. And even the 28 inch is a quit a little bit too big. So what I'm gonna do is cut some of these spare blades I have here. Um, most of them are Vader's full dual diffuse, dual diffuse blades uh, that are accumulated over uh, the few last few months by buying a lot of different sabers. And I got a simple uh, pipe cutter, tube cutter, and uh, this is the uh, specs here. And we're going to use this one to cut the blades to, let's say, around uh, between a range between 28 and 20 inch, maybe even a little bit smaller. So I have some nice display uh, sabers for inside the house, very small, and this just for simple dueling. Uh, sp uh, I mean, simple spinning, not dueling, <laughs> and for uh, cosplay and uh, basically if we go to a con easy uh, small and uh, also for traveling a nice small blade looks a little bit silly I do admit but it's more convenient so uh, let's uh, go sit down and start with the first one so So we're gonna start with this one. This is a 32 inch Vader's full dual diffuse blade. We're gonna cut it down to approximately here. So it's a really, really small hilt afterwards. And of course, if you don't wanna spend waste money, um, I don't really recommend to do it. But in my case, um, I have so many blades. I don't really dual too much. Plus these dual diffuse blades are not really for dueling anyway. These are more for cosplay and display and um, uh, I just um, don't like the, the longer hill, uh, the longer blades because these are thinner uh, blades so they also flex a lot with, uh, with the, la the longer they are they flex more and it just doesn't feel very comfortable in a hilt for me. Uh, most hilts actually don't, uh, for most hilts I actually don't like the longer uh, blades uh, simply because it throws the balance of the hilt off. So we got this thing um, I just bought it recently, uh, just bought it somewhere here. I'm just gonna size it up. Now, of course, there's around two inch for the emitter. So this will be a very short uh, blade, but that's fine. That's what I want. So cut it around here. And uh, again, uh, it's uh, not everybody want to waste their money on a uh, on cutting up a Vader's full blade, but uh, I just have too many of them. And I cannot really resell them because I live in Hong Kong, so shipping them will be very expensive. So anyway, I'm gonna cut the video now and then just cut it open. Um, I'm just gonna cut it like this, and of course your technique is different. I just leave the dual diffuse blade in because I'm gonna cut it with a scissor afterwards. So I got the first piece cut off. Now it wasn't very a uh, clear cut, so I have to practice a few times. You can see. Um, better is to stabilize the blade on something in a fixed position than turn around uh, the pipe cutter. Now we have this uh, piece of uh, inner filament and we're gonna cut that and then uh, we, we're done. So what I've done is I cut the uh, I cut the inner film a little bit short so there's like a half a millimeter or half an inch deeper in the hilt but because there's like this uh, small cutting edges on the inside the filament will keep in place so it doesn't fall out um, so I'm done plus this is going into the emitter of the hilt and this most of my sabers don't have emitter windows so you won't see this uh, short uh, cut uh, but if you want to have it flush of course you can make it cut uh, flush with the with the end of the blade um, but that's it um, 
very simple and uh, of course with practice you can do it a lot better than this very clean cuts very clean uh, cut of the uh, filament and uh, have no uh, wrinkles etc uh, but then again this is the first blade I ever cut short so um, I'm okay I'm pleased with it no wrinkles on the rest of the hilt or the inside of the hilt so it's a very very short hilt <laughs> I think now it's uh, cut down to around 16 to 18 inches so I'm pleased and I will keep this one around this piece here because I can uh, use that for a, uh, a chassis or whatever um, so that's also good so that's it guys, I hope you liked the video and uh, uh, in case you wonder how to cut your own blades, uh, these uh, cheap blade cutters or pipe cutters are fantastic for that, so you need to be careful, take your time, do it slowly and be careful of this uh, sharp piece here, uh, don't hurt your fingers. And that's it, so uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next video, stay scummy. Please subscribe for more weekly videos, follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram, sponsor the channel at our Patreon page. Stay scummy!